Ryan Locker here, founder of Special Athletic Training, here to take you through a full body workout for this Saturday afternoon. So today, we're going to start with uh, box squats. So it's going to be a basic sit to stand. You can do this with a, I'm using a bench, but you can also use a couch or a chair at home as well. You want to start with your feet about shoulder width apart. Really push back with your hips first. Sit on down, stand right back up. You can keep your hands almost like a zombie position. It's kind of what we tell our clients, act like a zombie. We're going to do 10 of these and then we'll move on to our next thing. Biggest thing that we notice with a lot of our clients is sometimes they'll come up on their heels or they'll rock back. So we want to make sure that we're acting like our feet are in cement and they're stuck glued to the ground. So you can even add in an air high five up here. If, it's your, if you're, it's your family member, obviously you can go ahead and give them a high five. Next, we're going to do a little, some hamstring curls. I'm going to use a sore neck roller, but you could easily do it with a towel or even just using your socks on the hardwood floor at home. So, you have to be on your back. And you're just going to push it out, pull it right back in. Another set of 10. If this is feeling too easy, you can always raise up your hips. Here, here's another another demo just in case I didn't get it on the camera. Do it from the side right here. Have just had relax your hands, put them down by your side. Same thing, remember, if it's too easy, you can just raise your hips. Pull it all the way in. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a wall press or some version of a push-up. So we're gonna put our hands on the wall, about shoulder height. You wanna be kind of falling into the wall. This is always a good way to figure out how far away you wanna be. You're gonna go lower yourself, touch your nose to the wall, push right back up. We wanna be breathing in, on the way down and out on the way up. Same thing, you want to keep your hands attached to the wall. You don't want them coming up. So those are our wall presses. You can also do um, just push-ups, regular push-ups if you want to, um, or you can even modify it if the push-up's too hard and that's too easy, you can use a, a either a bench or couch or even a kitchen counter. So the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna call do some face pulls. I'm gonna be using this band, but you can also use it with a towel and use a partner where you would grab the outside part of the towel. Your partner provides the resistance, um, grabbing the middle. So if you're dealing with your loved one, you can actually provide their own resistance by grabbing the middle of the towel for them. So right here, you're going to pull it straight to your face. Really squeezing those shoulder blades in the back as you come back. Also do an inhaling pull down. So you reach nice and tall, pulling the band to your chest, reach back all the way up. Same thing, you can be doing this with a partner, or if you're doing it with your child, you can provide the resistance. Same thing, you can use a towel at home. And then you would just be holding the towel up top as your child was pulling down with it. The next thing we're gonna do is bird dog. So you just need to get on your hands and knees, nice flat back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise one arm and the opposite leg. So we're gonna do our left arm, right leg first, both reaching forward, reaching back, bring it back. We're going to switch, so five on each side. And the last 
last thing we're going to do is egg rolls. So you're going to get a nice little ball, hug your knees to your hug your knees to your chest, and rock them back, and rock back forward. Almost hit something back there. So you're going to rock them back and forward. Back. Again, we're going to do 10 reps of these as well. I just lost count, but we'll count that as close to 10. So anyway, thanks again, guys. You want to repeat that three to five times, depending on how, how well you and your loved one are feeling. Um, try to bust those out. And uh, if you need anything else, let us know. Shoot us a message. Give, give me a text, 503-863-0512, or just shoot us a DM on Instagram. Talk to you soon, guys.